Day two, we're going to do with a two mile six foot on Novice Hurdle. And at the top rock of ages, Padre Hogan, De Parque, Darren Thompson, under orders, Martin Leadham, Crucial Elsie, James Shea, and Derek Hinton. And it's got the bottom two, Diamond Alka, Percy, and Nadia Molly. A field of six for this opening race on day two. Called in and away. And away they go. Heading off towards the first flight, and Under Orders has gone off quickly into a two length lead from De Parque in second. And then Rock of Ages back in third. Settling themselves down, sorting themselves out. They've got 12 flights to get over, and they're heading towards the first one of them. And Under Orders stood off it a long way, but got over it okay. And it's been rousted along by the jockeys. One wants to make this a stiff test, it would seem. Proper two mile five furlong race rather than a tactical crawl, which can be the case with these smaller fields. Just the six of them. There seem to be quite a lot of small fields this week as they get to the second. I haven't actually seen any of day one's races yet, so I've got no idea how everybody did yesterday. It's one a bit upside down and back to front this week. I thought something funny was going on. So I went to do the comms on Friday night. I normally try and do the first part of day one on Friday night and then Saturday afternoon after the real racing has been on and there weren't any races there. Oh, I thought there was something up with my drop box and I actually managed to get hold of Gray and Alex and apparently there was some sort of problem with internet so the races got put in that late that wasn't available all day Sunday and Sunday evening so I couldn't get any comms done. And I'm back now and Flight number four, it's under orders, who's well clear. We're on to Parque second, and Rock of Ages third. Diamond Arca Percy is back in fourth, and then Nadia Molly is after that one with Crucian Elsie, just a back marker as they race up past the stands, a long way from the stands on the middle of the three courses, really, aren't we? But it's under orders, who's in the lead. Getting over the fifth, that'll be the final flight next time round. And leads by a good eight lengths to De Parque in second, and then Rock of Ages third, Diamond Arca Percy's fourth. And on the outside of that one, Crucial Elsie, and finally at the back, Nadia Molly. So passing that winning post then, just one complete circuit of the track ahead of them now. And under orders is well clear, probably only by six or seven. Now they're getting a little bit closer to Parque. He is second for Darren Thompson. Rock of Ages on the outside of that one for Padre Hogan, third. And the green jacket of Crucial Elsie for James Shea. And the two Derek Hinton horses in the pink and black. Diamond Arca Percy and the dear Molly again under orders. Stood well off that hurdle. And got over it okay. Into the seventh, got it much closer that time. But again, jumped it all right. And the Depart came back in second. The order not changing a lot in this race as they take this turn. They've still got well over a mile ahead of them. And under orders is leading by six lengths. And De Parque and the white sleeves is second. The yellow jacketed Rock of Ages on that one's outside is third. And Crucian Elsie, Diamond Arca Percy and Nadia Molly. The lead is now down to little more than three or four as the pack closes on the leader. Under orders coming into flight number eight. Maybe he's been given a bit of a mid-race breather. Maybe just being caught but he's under orders in the lead as it has been throughout into the final seven furlongs now and this is the ninth flight and under orders stepped over it in front from Rock of Ages into Parque and Nadia Molly has moved through into fourth with the Diamond Arca Percy going to try and get a run up the inside Crucial Elsie is now just dropped to the back and under orders leads only by a length and a half now that's the Narrowest the leading margin has been throughout the race as they get into the third last, but Under Orders jumped that well and accelerated away from it, away from it well, and has now gone three clear again. Rock of Ages is the one who's responding quickest in second, then Nadia Molly and Diamond Arca Percy de Parque coming on a bit of pressure on the inside. Crucial Elsie is still there on the outside, wide open. This one being for a fascinating final four furlongs. They've got two flights to get over and less than four furlongs to race now as they swing in for home. And Under Orders looks like it's gone for home now. 
over the second last but the pack is closing really quickly and under orders will turn into the stroke of the lead of two lengths from Dominarca Percy in second and the Molly third crucial LC4 suddenly De Park and Rock of Ages under pressure they're coming down towards the final flight and the final two furlongs and under orders is in the lead but Dominarca Percy looks to be going better in second as they come down towards this final flight now and Dominarca Percy went up on the outside of under orders under orders trying to battle back on the inside crucial LC is running on well over the final flight really good jump by the leader under orders into the final firm but here comes crucial lc absolutely eating up the ground under orders trying to hold on on the inside crucial lc closing with every stride it's crucial lc on the outside beginning to get up under orders is trying to hold on just about managing to do so at the moment it's going to be close as they flash up towards the line it's on the nod under orders and crucial lc that was close it looked like crucial lc was going to steam past under orders at one point but didn't really quicken that quickly. The angle's going to be deceptive as ever. And it says under orders there. I'm still not believing it until I see it. And it's a win for under orders for Martin Lidham. Crucial LC was second for James Shea. Diamond Arca Percy for Derek Hinton was third. The dear Molly for Derek Hinton again was fourth. And Rock of Ages for Padre Hogan was back in fifth.